This is an instructional video on how to set the Bermad model 423 pressure sustaining and pressure reducing valve. For the purpose of the demonstration, the water is flowing from left to right. The sustaining pilot is on the left hand side which vents out through the bottom of the pilot. And the reducing pilot is the pilot that vents out through the side and senses the downstream pressure. The first thing we have to do in every control valve before commissioning is to ensure that we have all of the entrapped air out of the control chamber. So the first thing we do is we turn the three-way tap to the closed position which applies water pressure to the top. Then momentarily we turn it to the open position to vent any air out of the cover. Then we turn it back to the closed position to apply water to the bonnet again and then turn it to the open position again briefly to ensure that we've released all of the entrapped air. Then turn the valve back to the closed position and keep it in that position for a few seconds. The next thing we have to do is apply around about one rotation of spring tension to the pressure reducing pilot, which is preset. And on the sustaining pilot, we want to turn this clockwise all the way. The next thing to do now is to set the sustaining pilot. The sustaining pilot is designed to hold the pump back on the curve and to stop the pump cavitating. So it's very important in this condition to open up a greater number of irrigation shifts than the pump capacity can handle. So if we're normally irrigating two shifts, we want to open up at least four shifts so that the pump can't keep up. So if the four shifts are opened, we start the pump and we turn the three-way tap to the auto port. When we're in the automatic port, we put our adjusting or our spanner on the sustaining pilot and we turn this anti-clockwise slowly and we'll start to see water venting out through the vent and the downs, the pressure on the upstream side starting to reduce. So you'll see as I slowly turn the bolt anti-clockwise, the upstream pressure is reducing. Now at 500 kPa, I'll continue to do that till I achieve a pressure of 400 kPa. And when I stop turning the bolt anti-clockwise, we'll see the pilot has stopped venting and the system is stable. We've now set the sustaining at 400 kPa. So what we do is we just tighten the lock nut and the sustaining is set. Now it's time to set the reducing. Close down the four irrigation shifts and open up the smallest irrigation shift possible, smaller than what the pump will normally run. I'll demonstrate that now by just closing a downstream valve. As I do this, you can see the upstream pressure rising. The condition we have now is we have a small irrigation shift operating and you'll see the downstream pressure is very low at 200 kPa and the upstream pressure is greater than 600. If I go to the reducing pilot, one rotation of the adjustment bolt on the pilot is approximately 80 to 90 kPa. So as I turn it clockwise, you'll start to see water vent out through the, con the control tube and the downstream pressure will rise. So it's important to do this slowly because the sub mains may not be fully charged. But as I turn this slowly clockwise, Water starts to vent out through the tube and the downstream pressure starts to increase. As I turn it another quarter of a turn, the water vents, the pressure rises. I continue to do that until I achieve the pressure we want. And now that I've reached the desired pressure, I tighten the lock nut. The valve is now set. Should you require any further information, you can go to our website at bermad.com.au to get operation and instruction manuals. Thank you for watching.